Lectures on Justice, Police, Revenue, and Arms, is a collection of notes derived from Adam Smith's lectures delivered during his time as a moral philosophy professor at the University of Glasgow. These lectures, given in 1763, were not published during his lifetime and came to light from student notes only later. They offer a glimpse into Smith's early thoughts, which would eventually culminate in his later works, The Theory of Moral Sentiments and The Wealth of Nations. In these lectures, Smith delves into the foundational concepts of justice, the role of the police, in a broader sense than the contemporary idea of law enforcement, public revenue, and military defense. He lays a framework for understanding the civil society in which these elements operate and their significance in maintaining social order and economic prosperity. Justice Smith begins by asserting that justice is the primary pillar of any civilized society. Without it, societies would collapse into violence and chaos. He identifies the institutions of justice, such as courts and legal systems, as essential for protecting individuals' rights and property. For Smith, justice is grounded in the idea of natural rights. It provides the means for individuals to seek fairness and remedy when their natural rights are infringed upon. While exploring the concept of justice, Smith distinguishes between commutative and distributive justice. Commutative justice revolves around the respect for property and the fulfillment of contracts. It is about the fairness in transactions between individuals, and its violation can be rectified by legal means. Distributive justice, on the other hand, pertains to the equitable distribution of wealth and resources within society. This form of justice is more complex and reflects the society's principles and values. Smith's concept of the police is notably different from the modern-day connotation of the term. It encapsulates the broader idea of policy or the administration of the state in maintaining public order and welfare. Within these lectures, Smith's police are responsible for ensuring societal infrastructure functions effectively. This ranges from road and bridge maintenance to regulations on markets, prices, and public sanitation. The effectiveness of the police in Smith's context also influences the economy. By ensuring orderly conduct in the markets and fair play, the police aid in promoting economic growth. They play a fundamental role in securing a stable environment where commerce can thrive. Revenue Public revenue, which in contemporary terms relates to government finance, is another major topic Smith discusses. He outlines how governments must raise funds to support their activities, the most critical being the administration of justice and defense. Smith stresses that a government's ability to raise funds must be done justly and with attention to the impact on the economy. Taxes, the primary tool for raising public revenue, should be designed with fairness in mind. They need to be certain, so taxpayers know what is expected of them, convenient in terms of time and manner of payment, and efficiently collected, minimizing costs to the government and hassle to the taxpayer. Smith also tackles the issue of public debt, recognizing that while borrowing is sometimes necessary, it should be managed with caution to avoid burdening future generations and destabilizing the economy. Arms On the topic of military defense or arms, Smith argues that a society needs to protect itself from external threats. However, he cautions against the dangers of a standing army, which could threaten liberty if it became too powerful or was used improperly. He recommends a militia system, with citizens trained to defend their country. This, he believes, would not only provide a measure of defense, but also instill a sense of civic duty and national pride. Smith's discussion weaves together the economic and social benefits of such a system as opposed to the financial strains and potential risks of a professional standing army. He notes the historical shifts in European countries, discerning patterns of military organization, and how these have influenced economies and political structures. Conclusion Throughout his lectures, Adam Smith emphasizes the interconnectivity of justice, police, public revenue, and arms, all critical in forming a stable, prosperous society. He highlights the importance of prudent legislation, fair implementation of laws, and the effective administration of resources as vital elements of a well-governed state. Smith's deep understanding of economic principles is noticeable in his discussions, 
particularly in the way he demonstrates how these facets of governance contribute to the wealth and well-being of a nation. His lectures presage his later economic theories on free markets, the role of government, and the concept of the invisible hand, which would become central to his economic philosophy. Although the lectures were not meant for publication, their insights into Smith's early thought preface many themes he would explore in greater depth later on. They provide a crucial foundation for modern economics and political science, offering enduring perspectives on organizing and managing society in order to foster economic development and social harmony.